Hello friends, welcome to SSDN Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about the two popular courses MCSA and CCNA and we'll discuss which course is better for the professionals. The two best known names in the IT industry Microsoft and Cisco offer their certifications MCSA and CCNA. We will discuss on them on different aspects. We will initiate the discussion with the introduction then we will look on the skills these certification validates and exams you have to clear to get these certifications. Then we will discuss the benefit and job profile and salary and finally the conclusion. And don't miss the conclusion so let's get started. To know about other IT courses like Python, Data Science and Machine Learning, subscribe to SSD and Technologies and press the bell icon. What is it? What is MCSA Windows Server 2016? MCSA Windows Server 2016 qualifies you for a position as a network or computer system administrator or a computer network specialist and it is the first thing on your path to become a Microsoft Certified Solution Expert. What is CCNA? The CCNA stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate. As enterprises migrate towards controller based architecture, the role and skills required for a core network engineer are evolving and more vital than ever. To prepare for this, the CCNA network certification is there. Now we will look what they validate. The MCSA certification are designed as a way for professionals to demonstrate proficiency in a variety of product roles and knowledge area. This certification is created to validate your skill in designing and building technology. It also acts as a prerequisite for MCSC certifications. The CCNA validate professionals' ability to understand, operate, configure, and troubleshoot medium level switch and routed networks. It also includes the verification and implementation of connections via remote sites using WAN. To get these certifications, you have to clear some exams. Once you have completed the MCSA training, you have to give three exams. 70740, 70741, 70742. The score required is 704 each exam. But if you choose the Windows path and Office 365 certification, you have to pass only two exams. The 70743 is designed to advance your skill from Windows Server 2012 to Windows Server 2016. For CCNA certifications, you have to pass 200301. After clearing these exams, you will get the certification of CCNA. The benefits of MCSA are your skill set become updated, which in turn will increase your efficiency of executing the project. The MCSA certification has worldwide recognition and also validate your skill, which gives you competitive advantage over a non certified IT guy. The benefit of CCNA are the CCNA being a leader in the field of networking gives you more career options. The CCNA certification act as a foundation of your networking career and don't forget that there is a value in the recertification. Now we will look on the job profile and salary of these certifications. After the MCSA certification, you can be employed as system administrator, IT manager, senior system administrator, network administrator. The salary after MCSA certification starts from 2 lakh per annum while at manager level it can go up to 12 lakh that depend upon your skill set. After the CCNA certification you can be employed as network administrator, network analyst, solution design engineer, infrastructure engineer, cloud architect. The salary after CCNA certification starts from 1.5 lakh can go up to 10 lakh that depend whether you are CCNP or CCIE certified and your skill set. Both the certifications have their pros and cons. Let's have a look at the pros of the Microsoft certification. It has a worldwide brand recognition while it demonstrate Microsoft server and software experience. While the Cisco have demonstrate experience with Cisco equipment, skill can be applied to many other IT brands also. This is one of the primary benefit of Cisco certification. The cons of the following are. Not all the brands have the network based on Microsoft and the Cisco certification is difficult to obtain. Let's jump to the final conclusion. The conclusion is both the certifications have demand in the industry while Microsoft focus on the server side maintenance, the Cisco focus on network system. 
Now you have to choose between the two brands based on your preference and interest. If you have any queries related to any of the certification, you can comment or you can simply call our counselors.